Happy New Year, you guys. I am so overdue to doing this video. Um, 2020 has been a crazy year and 2021 has been a busy year. But I finally had the chance to uh, have the time to create this video. And without further ado, let me just jump straight to it. So what I got for Christmas will be separated into two separate videos. Uh, this first video will be focused on luxury brands that we are familiar with. And then the second video will be the black owned uh, luxury brands uh, that you may or may not be familiar with that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's be real. We are well into 2021. I already unboxed all of these items here and I've been using them all year and I'm sorry if you guys were hoping for an unboxing video I love unboxing videos but this is not going to be an unboxing video this is more of a, a reveal video so pretty much I laid out what I got for Christmas here but I'll just show you the items and I'll point out you know the packaging and all that that it came in all right Okay, so the first item I'm going to introduce is this um, by San Francis Kirjan Paris. This is their Baccarat Rouge. Let me turn down the, there we go. So this is one of their popular scents that I've gotten and it comes in this packaging right here. And I got it during the uh, Black Friday sale. So this bottle here is like, I wanna say somewhere around like $300. And I ended up getting it for like $150. And if you ask me, I think this scent is a little bit overhyped. It smells good, don't get me wrong. But I personally think that the price that it's gone for is a little too steep. So I'm actually kind of glad that I got this for 150. I do think that it's worth around like the hundred, you know, fifty dollar range, you know, probably even less. And um, the reason why I call it overhyped is because personally, I think the scent is a very familiar scent. I cannot pinpoint what it smells like, but it's not a scent that stands out to me as far as my body chemistry goes. Uh, the staying power on me is, is decent. I think I can get a, a, a few hours of wear. Let's say if I was going out from like day to night, it would last day to night. Um, like if I sprayed it around 2 p.m., it should definitely last through the day and night. But it's probably not going to be like my top, 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 top scent. It's more so like a, a cute scent. I'll call the scent cute. You know, I'm not a perfumer, so I can't give you the notes and all the you know, the extra details of this perfume. I would definitely um, see if I can order the samples if you were interested. I know that on their website you can order their samples and see how you like the scents. It's one of those perfumes that you you should try before you buy because um, it is expensive and personally I don't think it warrants the price that it's priced at. The next item I want to show you is this perfume and it's the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Perfume. You guys, this right here, this right here is worth it, okay? It's worth it. Uh, this little bottle right here is like $75, which is steep, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this right here, this baby right here. Now this is what I call a unique scent. This right here is what I would invest my money on to get a larger size. I would say this is one of those scents where it's an acquired taste. And I feel that way for most of Tom Ford scents. It's one of those you either like it or you don't. And for this scent right here, I love it. 
I didn't think I was gonna love it. When I first sprayed it on me, I was like, ew. But as the notes started, you know, coming and the days started going and all that, you guys, I was like, all right, <laughs> I, need, I need to get this. I definitely need to get a big size bottle of this. I love it so much that I'm actually scared to use it because I don't want it to run out. That's how much I love it. It's probably one of my top scents. It's a very sexy scent, but not like midnight sexy. It's sexy as in flirty girls night out not girls day out i would call it like a girls night out type of scent it's very alluring especially as you let it um mix in with your body chemistry it's a scent that you will feel you will feel good at least i know for myself i feel good when i wear this scent I would uh, invest and get in the travel size if you can and seeing how you like it. And if you really do like it, get the bigger size. I definitely plan to get the bigger size. If Sephora has their VIB sales, I'm definitely getting the full size bottle of this. So this right here um, is from the packaging that I got from this brand called Teeks. And Teeks is a shoe brand that uh, makes uh, leather flats and they are quite pricey. They are made in Italy and I think every shade or color that you get uh, will have a special topper on the box. And unfortunately, I got rid of the box before I did this video. So you can't see the box, but the box is in this Tiffany blue-esque color. They are known for their infamous blue bottoms uh, on, their, on each of their flats. I think this holiday packaging, well, this holiday bow is so cute. And I know people who actually sells these toppers <laughs> online, which is interesting. And I will be showing you the shoes shortly. So this is the little uh, bag that it comes in. And this is where you put your heels in. So if you're going out and your feet is killing you, you got a cute little uh, foldable bag that you can put your heels in. And I'm so upset that I found out about this brand after my birthday. I have a horror story where my birthday night was just a hot mess and my feet was killing me. And I told myself that I'm never gonna go out in heels that I can barely walk in without backup shoes. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I invested in these teak shoes. So they are foldable ballerina flats. I got the classic black color and it's very, very comfortable, you guys. I wore it during the holiday season. Yes, they're dirty. I need to wash it, but I just wanted to show you guys. They are in these foldable ballerina flats. They're very compact. If you have a good mid-size uh, purse or a jacket with a pocket, you can just easily um, and discreetly put these flats in and you can carry it with you on the go. And it comes in this pouch where you can store these shoes in. And this is pretty much how I store my flats and I keep it in my travel bags just so I know where it's at and this is it this next item is from this brand called Marin Serre. and this right here when I saw Cassie Thorpe um, rock it I was like you guys I, I, I needed to get it I had no business buying this 
you guys are probably gonna drag me for investing the type of money that I did to get this piece. It is what it is. I still look like a fashionista. But it's this Marin Serre mask. This is my first and only Marin Serre piece. And I think it is so cute. I really do. I think it's the cutest little thing. And I wore it through the airport looking like a bad bit. <laughs> and yes, I got it from the website Essence, which sources items worldwide and different boutiques. And I was able to acquire this. And I know they have the inverted print kind. They have the black and white kind. They have different um, shades of this. The next item that I received came in this box. It's from Saint Laurent. And this is the dust bag. And this is the iPhone. This right here is so cute to me. It, I got it during the um, Saint Laurent sale. And when I saw it, I was like, let me just get it. And that's what I did. And I think it's a cute compact card case that if you are going for a minimalist uh, vibe and you're carrying a small clutch, this is a great catch-all piece for like your cash. Maybe you can put some coins in here. You can definitely put your ID and cards. And you have another slot right here. And it's a cute little Christmas flex. I love the color. I think it's a great pop of color to add in your collection. The other item I got from Saint Laurent, which was at a separate um, occasion, but during the holiday season, came in this box right here. And it was on sale. And it was this Reeve Gulch pouch. I think it is so cute. I know I wanted a Reeve Gulch piece. I think the totes are a little bit too pricey for me. So the fact that I was able to get a pouch that was on sale, I believe I got it from Farfetched, was just like a chef kiss. So it comes with an inner slot right here. And you can put like your cards and your other items in here. And it's basically a big old pouch. It has a, their date code right here. And I use this when I was traveling. I put all my documents in here and like my wallet and all that. And I thought this was like a great piece to travel for, uh, travel with. It's one of those pieces where you're kind of rocking your designer without looking like too expensive, like without looking like a target to me. I think this is one of those um, cute low key kind of uh, pieces where if you don't want to look too much like a logomania, even though this is logofied, at least is not a monogram piece. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's a subtle flex without it being overpowering. And it comes with this removable strap right here. So if you wanted to add a different strap for a different type of look and vibe, then you can. Or you can use this as a organizational piece in your larger bags and totes and use this sort of like uh, how you would use the LV Neverfull pouch. So I wanted to show you uh, two jewelry pieces that I got from um, the people that I love in my life. So I am wearing them both. <laughs> so the first piece I wanna show you from Tiffany is this gorgeous, gorgeous um interlocking uh piece it's this bracelet and 
I love it so much. It is sterling silver and it uh, pretty much is reminiscent of the interlocking bracelet from Cartier, which is uh, part of their love collection. And I thought it was so sweet of him to uh, get it uh, for me for Christmas. And the other piece is from Pandora. It is this beautiful uh, gold plated uh, bracelet, sterling silver. And I got that from my mommy. And one of my closest friends who I see as my sister, she got me a gift card for Pandora. And I got this uh, little charm uh, from Vegas. I wanted to uh, get uh, this charm because I'm trying to build a charm bracelet collection where wherever I travel, I will get a charm from Pandora from that state. So I, I just think that being able to uh, get pieces, jewelry pieces that means a lot to me from the people I care about, I think it's important. Now this right here, this is not Cartier. This is a, a Cartier inspired love bracelet. I have one in um, silver. This is made out of, uh, I think titanium and I think it's gold plated. So there's no tarnishment and it actually looks like the real thing. Yeah, but I am manifesting getting the real thing one day. But until then, I will rock my little inspired piece. But yes, this right here, these two, I don't ever take it off. This right here, I don't ever take it off either. The next item I want to show you is this piece that I got from Fendi. Now I bought this piece from a personal shopper who you may or may not know. Her name is uh, Momoland. And let me tell you, if you had any doubts of shopping from Momoland, do not. That that seller, she's a Japanese seller. She is so, so, so nice, so, so patient. Um, she sourced this item for me. I've wanted ever since last Christmas. She was able to get it for me and I bought it right on time for Christmas. When I tell you she is a fast shipper, she was able to get this item for me. Like she shipped it from Japan on Thursday. I got it the next day. <laughs> so yeah, she's she's about her business, okay? So I will link her Instagram down below. So this was the item right here. So this is the Nano, I think the Nano Baguette either the micro or the nano baguette, I don't know, but I got the original print, the FF print with the old model that you can clip this to your belt and turn it into a tiny micro belt bag. So this baguette comes with this beautiful chain that you can attached to the uh, bag right here. It has little hooks. And I love that added versatility where you can pretty much add any type of chain that you want. If you wanna turn it into a little wristlet, you can um, go and get a, an attachment piece. So now you turn it into a bag. It goes from a cute card case to a bag. And then I love how it comes with a lot, a larger um, clamp where you can attach it to your belt loops or you can attach it to another Fendi bag and make this into a bag charm. So this little beauty right here, Pax Punch, is like a a three or four in one 
You can make this into a waist belt. You can turn this into a little bag charm. You can make this into a cute little clutch purse, a card holder. The world is your oyster. And you know, I am a sucker for micro and nano things. So this right here speaks to my soul. And not only is it a micro or nano bag, it's a micro and nano bag that has versatile purposes. It comes with a little card slot in the back so you can put in like your cash or, you know, any private cards that you don't want exposed. You can put a cute little lip gloss and just be on your merry way. And yes, so this was manufactured in 2019 and it came straight from the Fendi store. All right, so now it's time to showcase my Gucci items. So I'm going to start off with the smallest thing that I got. And I received, or rather I bought two items from Gucci that um, I was excited to get. The first thing I got was their, uh, their bronzing powder. I got this in the shade number five or the deep one. And I was excited that Gucci made um, that Gucci made a product for darker complexioned women and men like me. And I think this is a gorgeous piece. I've used it a couple times. Look how beautiful this is. And I'm not going to lie to you, I was totally sold by Instagram and social media. Everybody and their mother had this, and it felt reassuring that I was included. <laughs> Normally, um, when it comes to luxury brands, they don't consider uh, dark skin people in mind when it comes to their beauty products so to actually find a bronzing powder that actually shows on my skin now it's not too bronzing on my complexion if you're a little bit lighter than me this will be perfect but it shows just enough for a subtle like a really really subtle look bronze look i also purchased this uh lippy I'm a sucker for luxury lip balms. I got this uh, Gucci lip balm, which I haven't used yet. And the packaging totally got to me. I thought it was really cute to get like a matching set. Got the lippy with the bronzer. Totally Instagrammable, right? Now I can add this to my little connect collection with Chanel and Hermes and I think I have a wild cell I definitely have a Dior balm and the last item that I got from Gucci was this gorgeous Gu Gucci-sima I think it's Gucci-sima I think that's the um, type of print that this is but it's a wallet and a chain that I got from the Gucci outlet and I am absolutely in love with it. Uh, it has a removable strap that you can use as a clutch. Or I don't know if you can like add more holes and turn this into a belt bag. It has several slots. It has a slot back here where you can keep your cash. It has like what? One, two, three, four, five, ten card slots. A nice open space area where you can put like your lip glosses and you can put your cell phone or you can put your cell phone in here. It's very spacious. And I wore this uh, as a part of my Christmas uh, dinner outfit. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see what I wore for Christmas. Last but not least, I have my Louis Vuitton um, boxing to share. I am so excited for these uh, two pieces that I'm going to show you. It's two pieces that are highly coveted and 
um, really, really popular at the moment. One Piece is hard to find, but lately it's been quite easy to find. And I'm actually surprised it did not go through a price increase. The first item I'm revealing is this Recto Verso card holder. I have been using the heck out of this. This is my everyday wallet piece and I'm so excited that I got one. It has been so, so, so handy. I have retired my key clay, well, my clay pouch. I gifted that to my mother for Christmas and have upgraded to this piece right here. It is so versatile, you guys. Um, now, this is one of those pieces where you either will like it or you will hate it. And I'm one of those people that really love it. I put my cash in this slot right here. I put one of my uh, important credit cards here. I put like my ID and more of my bank cards here. And I attach my car key to this uh, lobster claw clip right here. I also put my coins and other knickknack in here. Now, I will warn you that if you fill this uh, slots up with the cards, it'll be quite difficult to put like a bulky key in here. It's kind of built a little bit weird. I do wish they left or created a little bit bigger uh, space where you can actually comfortably put in a bulky key in here without it compromising the shape. So I will warn you that I, I will have to um, put my car key on this claw clip and leave it dangling. And it's okay, I'm not complaining about it. At least I will have all my daily essential cards and cash in here. And while I'm on the go, I keep my car keys here. Last but not least, I got the Nano Speedy. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. This bag is small. The camera does not do it justice as to how tiny it is. And I have been looking at this bag for years. I've seen several, more than several YouTubers rave about this handbag and all of them have said it was small but again i stress to you pictures and video does not do it justice as to how, my, how micro this is seeing it on person is a different experience i will be 100 percent honest with you i was able to order it online which is pretty remarkable because trying to order this online is it's a it's quite a feat <laughs> it's not an impossible feat but it's quite a feat you just got to be there at the right time and you know louis vuitton has a habit of stocking their items several times a day at specific times a day and how i got this bag was i was there around the 2 p.m mark eastern time and i was refreshing the page I almost got it, but I couldn't get it when I saw add to bag. So I called client services and I got their approval because I have a nice and healthy buying history of Louis Vuitton. And they approved for me to get this purchase. And I ordered it through client services and deliver it to the store. And when I got it, I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it is so tiny, you guys, but it is so cute. And I definitely plan on passing it on to, you know, my future daughter. It's my first Speedy bag. I don't own any Speedy but this. And I will love and cherish it. I'm actually really surprised that this did not go through a price increase. This was one of the items I had expected to, you know, go up in price because of how popular and how sought for it is. Now, I've been hearing this rumor, and it's been a running rumor for years, to be honest, that they're gonna discontinue this whole Nano line. I personally highly doubt it, 
but you never know I'd rather be safe and keep this in my collection than sorry. It's one of the last to remain in bags from Louis Vuitton that's actually reasonably affordable, in my opinion. And it's actually cheaper than a lot of other popular uh, Louis Vuitton items that I personally think is overpriced. So to get a Louis Vuitton bag that's under 1500 let alone under 1200 before tax is, you know, amazing but i'm excited to have this bag in my collection i'm going to wear it i have been scared to wear it as often as i would like because i have not like sprayed it down and i am debating on whether or not i do want to spray it down or do i just want it to you know naturally patina but we'll see and they was not lying when they say that this bag patch a, pack a punch. You could fit quite a good number of things in here, but I will say that this opening is not generous in my opinion. I don't believe that this is a generous opening, but it is generous spacing, which is the difference. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching part one of what I got for Christmas. Stay tuned for my part two video. I'm about to film that right after I film this one. i probably going to film a couple videos today, so don't be alarmed if you see the same setup <laughs> in my future videos. I'm trying to get as much videos out the way while I have the time today and while I'm in the mood to do it. Stay tuned for the next video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or we have any video suggestions, let me know. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.